Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss factorizing. Now factorizing basically means to make brackets. Whereas in the previous videos we had discussed simplifying. And in simplifying our whole aim was to remove brackets. So the two are actually opposites of each other. When we are doing factorizing, we must remember a few rules of our simplifying because it will assist in us to completely understand factorizing. Therefore, it is advisable that you look at our previous videos on simplifying before attempting these videos. Now, the first style that we are going to discuss today is taking out a common. When you are busy with factorizing, it is important that you can clearly identify different terms. Now plus and minus is what makes terms. Therefore, first put in your wall. The second thing you must remember is that factorizing is like you going to different shops, but you want to buy the same thing from every shop. You need to look at the question and see what is the same in both the questions. Usually the numbers are a problem. So try and make sure that you break down your numbers. When we say break down your numbers, you don't need to go completely to prime numbers, but try and get numbers that are the same in the question that you have. So in other words, if we have 3 and 12, 12 can be broken down to 3 times 4. It is easier that way to see that there is something common. The 3's are in both the terms. The next thing we need to do is we need to see now what exactly is the same. In the first term and the second term we have a 3. In the first term and the second term we have an x. You will notice when you are taking out a common with the unknowns, you will always take the lowest power. So if you look at x and x squared, x is x to the power of 1. Therefore, we're going to take the lowest power, which is x to the power of 1. After you take out what is the same, then you see what would be left if I remove 3 and x from each term. Now, if I removed 3 and x from this term, if the 3 is removed and the x is removed, then I would be left with 1x. The second term, notice I put a plus because there was a plus in this question. Right, now, let's look at the second term. If I remove a 3 and I remove an x, then I would be left with a 4 because remember 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So if I remove the 3 and I remove the x, I would be left with 4. To double check your answer, you can simplify by saying 3x times x is equal to 3x squared and then 3x times positive 4 is equal to 12x. Now, it is not always so simple to see. Therefore, this requires practice. Let's do a more challenging example. When we starting, we must put in our wall. The wall must be drawn before the sign. Now, if you do that, it is easier to see what am I looking for. In each block, there must be something the same. Break down the numbers because numbers are not so easy to always see. Now you can see the lowest number we have in this question is 8. So try and break down the following numbers so that we have 8 in it. 64 becomes 8 times 8 and 16 becomes 8 times 2. Now the following step would be to see what is the same in each question. Now each question has an 8. So 
I can take out 8 as a common and then we have to look at the unknowns but when we are looking at the unknowns remember to take the lowest power. If you look at the a we've got a squared in the first term a to the power 5 in the second term and a to the power 3 in the third term. The lowest one is a to the power 2. If you look at b we've got b squared in the first term b to the power 4 in the second term and b in the third term. So we're going to take out a b. Now what is left? If you find it difficult to decide what is left take a pencil and remove from each little block what you took out. So I took out an 8 here, I took out an A2, but I only took out one A. Now remember in exponents the rule is subtract. So if I took out 1, 2 minus 1 is going to give me 1. So what is my answer here? C or write down what is left. So B to the power of 1 is left. Then our sign minus now, in the second term, I'm taking out an 8. I'm taking out an a squared. Remember, we are subtracting. When you're doing unknowns, you are subtracting. So, 5 minus 2 will give me 3. b, I'm subtracting 1. So, b minus 1 will give me 3. So, my answer is 8. Remember your sign. My answer is minus 8 a to the power 3, b to the power 3. Now the last term, we are taking out an 8, we are taking out an a to the power 2, which means I will be left with a to the power 1, and we are taking out a b. That leaves us with, that leaves us with the following, plus 2 a to the power 1. Thank you for watching this video.